All right, guys, welcome. It's Elizabeth from Adara Green Moments, and today I'm sharing with you my October favorites. Is this too much sun? I'm trying to get some natural light. All right, guys, this is how we do the thumbnail with the iPhone. <laughs> so excited to be sharing with you some of my favorites we just got back from Disney World coming off that vacation high is always so sad <laughs> and we love Disney if you know me you know we're obsessed with Disney I have people asking me all the time how can you afford to go to Disney so often honestly we find really good deals on hotels you only have to pay one night up front for Disney when you do it and then we have annual passes so it's really not that much spending if you plan out your food right and we do a one thing at Disney. What that means is you only get to pick out one thing while you're Disney. This really only really applies to the kids. And then they get to not have the gimmies while they're there. So I'm gonna start off with the one things. Before we went, I actually went on eBay, I think, and I got a cover for my magic band. See, I made it into like little Mickey ears. It comes off my magic band. Can you tell I'm still Disney, Disney mind? It's, um, it comes off my Apple Watch and it just slides on and I only paid, I think a few dollars for it. I'll try to link everything down below, but it just slides over and it's really cute. Kind of fun to have Mickey with you on your magic, on your <laughs> Apple Watch. I keep saying it, Magic Band. But um, I actually got a couple one things, so I guess it's a two thing, but um, my husband got me a, platinum silver Mickey necklace. I don't know if you can even see it. Maybe I'll try to go in this way. See? But it's just a little dainty Mickey and it's not, you know, bright, colorful, crazy, but I liked it because it's um, silver, platinum, and it's, it's like a mixture, I think. But it's not gonna turn my neck green and I have really sensitive skin, so I was really excited about that. I just wanted something little I could wear with everything and then just, you know, put it away. And then I, my second thing that I got while I was at Disney is the Starbucks mug. They have one of these for every theme park at Disney, the You Are Here collection. And this is the new Disney Studios one. The one they had before was like bright, bright red. And I wasn't a huge fan of the bright colors. But when they came out with this tealy green color and then the inside is like that tealy color, aqua. I love it. Uh, and now I have a set of four of all the theme parks that I love. So those are my Disney things. I'm thinking of maybe over on the vlog channel sharing uh, what our one things were. I don't know if people might be interested in seeing what our souvenirs were at Disney, but those are a couple of mine. I figured those are my favorites this month. I don't have any books to share. I am sad to say I didn't read this month. How horrible is that? I set a goal for myself to read 12 books for the year. And that may be a lot to some, that may not be many at all. You may read tons. And I just try to read a book a month, but I didn't actually read. And so next month we are traveling, we're taking an airplane, we're going to Williamsburg, so I'll be vlogging all of that for the vlog channel, but I'm definitely going to set some books aside and read on the plane, because I want to keep doing that. Sometimes you get out of the habit and you don't. So no favorites there. Let's share the oily favorites. Some of these are not going to be a surprise because I mention them quite often, and then maybe some of them would be like, okay, Aroma Ease huge favorite at Disney World, like come on, every ride that is a little too vigorous um, and long car trips. Just smell this, it's amazing. My daughter used it more than anybody this trip, just smelling it is good. I will tell you, she did apply some accidentally and it was very, very hot on her skin. Now she has sensitive skin and I didn't think to bring like a separate carrier oil with us and I should have just so that we could apply it because I was trying to be very minimal while we were at Disney. Um, so just be mindful of that with Aroma Ease that it's a little bit hot on your skin. Deep Relief, huge favorite while we were at Disney. I put it on my feet, I put it on my legs, I put it on my shoulders. We did like 20,000 steps one day. <laughs> Again, may not seem like much to many, to some of you guys, but that was a lot for us. Uh, loyalty is the new oil I just got. I got it for being loyal with Young Living. I was thinking about maybe doing a video and sharing with you guys. We've got crazy hair going on, sorry. Thinking about doing a video sharing with you guys some of the uh, promos you get for the longer you're signed up with Young Living. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in something like that. I might do that. But um, I've really been enjoying loyalty. I've just been applying it on my wrists and just smelling it like a perfume. 
it's bright and inviting, but warm and cozy at the same time. It smells like cashmere should smell. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just put a little bit on my wrists. Yeah, it just smells luxurious. So if you have this one, awesome. If not, stay on Essential Rewards for a whole year and you will get one too. Diffuser time. I shared a bunch of fall diffuser combos and I did do those. I've been enjoying them, but what I've been doing this week and really loving it, cinnamon bark and orange, equal parts, like three drops of each or four drops of each. Just smells like fall, like come on, so good. You can't go wrong with ginger, cinnamon, I mean all those yummy fall scents, but these two equal parts, that's what I've been doing this week in the diffuser right at the front door. So when you walk in, you're like, mmm, so good. Again, another huge favorite. I got out of the habit of getting the Essential Rewards kit that has four bottles of Ningxia Red and Ningxia essential oil. And I have a whole video on the cheapest way to get Ningxia Red. Check it out if you wanna see. Um, but I actually got it because I knew we were going to Disney and I didn't wanna bring the big Ningxia bottle with us. And I thought, how would I travel with Ningxia Red? Put it in a mason jar, is it gonna stay fresh? How do you measure it out without spilling? So it's too much, just too much. Just get the packets. I think it's 70 something bucks for 30. It's better value. Get the essential reward kit. But um, I brought these, this has two ounces in it. So the kids share it. So they each have half. And, um, and then my husband and I each drink one of these. So I only bring three a day for our family. And that's what we do. Love it. Great way to take Ningxia on the go. I'm actually gonna mention in my favorites, my favorite deodorant. Is that weird? Is that weird to say I love deodorant? But um, it's uh, not an antiperspirant. It doesn't stop you from sweating because you wanna let the toxins out, but you don't stink while you're doing it. So that's my tip about it. The Meadow Mist is my daughter's favorite, but the Mountain Mint, I just smell minty and I feel fresh. All right, I'm gonna share with you guys something the Raw Spice Bar sent me and I'm super excited about it. It's raw spices to up the flavor of your dinners because sometimes, I don't know about you, but dinner gets a little bit boring. I am obsessed with their unpumpkin pie spice. <laughs> but they've got recipe cards that come with their raw spices. They have different kits. They have, I'll, I'll put all of the information down below, but let me show you the spices. All right, so here they are. These, the three that they sent me was the Indo-French Vadovan, and it's got coriander, cumin, turmeric, all kinds of good stuff. This peppercorn chai is toasted black peppercorns, ginger, cinnamon, here, I'll put it here. Ginger, cinnamon, green cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, star anise, and spices. And then the last one that I love is this one. It's unpumpkin pie, which is ginger, cinnamon, allspice, berries, star anise, and nutmeg. Delicious, so fun. So I'll put all the information down below for that. Last but not least, when we went to Disney, we stopped at Trader Joe's in Orlando. And there was so much yummy good stuff, new stuff that I was excited to try. But the one thing that my daughter and I can agree on is this herbal tea. It's in a big giant tin and it's called Trader Joe's Berries and Cherries Herbal Tea Blend, caffeine free and 20 sachets. So let me show you that. Look at it, how cute. So good with a little bit of honey. And then they come out like these, the triangle tea bag. So it really can get good flavor, but it smells just like it sounds. Berries and cherries, it is delicious. I love trying a new tea. It's not really fall themed berries and cherries, but it's really good. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, just know that I'm jealous because I love Trader Joe's. <laughs> and the closest one to us is three hours away. Now, when we go to Williamsburg next month, I found out there's one in the city we're staying at and I'm so excited. So we're going to be staying at a condo for a whole week. And while we're there, we're going to be making Trader Joe's meals. And I'm actually really looking forward to it because normally when we go for three hours away, we're just buying, you know, little stuff here and there, but we're actually gonna buy full blown meals, so. That's it for the favorites. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. And if you're interested in Disney and cruising, make sure you check out the vlog channel because, you know, I'm posting two times a week for sure right now, Mondays and Wednesdays. We're going Williamsburg next month and we're going on a cruise in February and Disney. So, you know, super exciting. All right, see you later. Bye, guys.